Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vasily Smyslov and Tibor Florian. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Moscow in 1949. Smyslov had white pieces and he started with d4. Florian played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, and now d5, the Grunfeld defense. Knight to f3, bishop to g7, queen to b3, the Russian variation. D takes on c4, queen takes on c4, castling e4, and white has an impressive looking center. Black to move, knight to a6, getting ready to attack the center. Bishop to e2, c5, d5, e6, and Smyslov castled kingside. E takes on d5. Pawn takes pawn on d5, queen to a5. Perhaps black would love to trade queens in some variations. a3, controlling b4 square. Bishop to f5, completing the development. White to move. Should white play bishop to e3 and complete his development too? What would you do? Smyslow played queen to h4 intending to bring his dark squid bishop to h6, rook from f to e8, bringing the rook to the open file, bishop to h6, knight to e4, intending to capture the defender of the bishop on e2, bishop takes on g7, king takes bishop, let's take it back, if knight takes on c3, then Bishop takes a knight. Back to our game. King takes bishop. White to move. How would you continue? Smyslow played this awesome move. Knight to g5. Knight takes on c3. Let's take it back. If knight takes on g5, then queen takes on g5. And white's position is preferred. Knight takes on c3. White to move. How would you continue now? Smyslow played. Queen takes on h7. Check. King to f6. Black is threatening. King takes knight. And also knight takes bishop on e2. Check. What should white do? Smyslow played. Pawn takes knight. It is black to move. Florian was choosing between king takes knight on g5 and rook takes bishop on e2. Decisions, decisions. How would you continue? He thought that the knight would give him more trouble, so he captured the knight. It is white to move. Black is threatening rook takes bishop on e2. What is the best square for the bishop? We have reached the most interesting position of the game. And this is a position where Florian, player with the black pieces, missed a subtle move by white. So, what would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? If bishop goes to f3, saving the bishop, king to f6, and with an extra piece, Black would win. What is the solution then? Maybe bishop takes knight on a6. But even then, black is better. Vasily Smyslow played this awesome, silent killer move. Queen to g7. Preventing the black king from going home. Florian missed this move. It is black to move, of course, Florian considered rook takes bishop, but he played rook to e4. Let's take it back. If rook takes bishop, then white wins like this. Pawn to f4, check, king to g4. h3, check, king to g3. Rook to f3, check, king to h4. And then queen to h6, check, mate back to our game. So, to prevent f4, 
Florian played rook to e4, but Smithsel played f4 anyway. Rook takes pawn, rook takes rook, king takes rook, rook to f1 check, king to e3, white to move, queen to e5 check, also defending the bishop, king to d2, white to move. How would you continue now? Smithsel played bishop to c4, no checks, this is setting up the checkmate. Queen takes on a3. Note how the black pieces are offside. It looks like that only white pieces and the black king are fighting the war. It is white to move. How would you continue now? Smithslow played rook to f2 check. And Florian resigned in view of this continuation. King to d1 and then queen to e2 check. After king to c1 Queen to e1, check, mate. That was a brilliant attack by Vasily Smyslov. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.